6. The fight is on to keep the Southwestern Virginia Training Center from shutting its doors. The facility helps people with severe developmental challenges. Governor Bob McDonnell scheduled the center to close in two years back when he was in office. As WSLS 10's Bethany Teague explains, families are now pleading with Governor Terry McAuliffe to reverse the decision before it's too late. This is Al singing it at his little church. Al has called the Southwestern Virginia Training Center his home for decades. This is one of five state-run facilities for people with severe developmental and intellectual challenges. But he, like 123 other residents at this center alone, will have to find a new home by 2018. I don't sleep at night some nights wondering what's going to happen if they do close this training center. Sharon Wilburn is Al's sister. She and her family were horrified to hear that four out of five training centers across Virginia will be shut down in the next four years, leaving her brother and hundreds of others with few options. How would any of these government people feel if someone walked in and said, we're taking your child and we're sending them somewhere else to live. The only remaining training center will be in Chesapeake. It has just 75 beds. I just wonder where the governor thinks he's going to put all these people. Cynthia Elliott's sister Jeannie has lived here 34 years. Elliott says before the training center, Jeannie was often violent. But thanks to professional care, she feels she has her sister back. If you have a two and three year old and they throw a temper tantrum, but if you're 59 years old and you do that, it's harmful. When she came here, it was like a godsend. Her behavior changed. The center serves 17 counties in southwest Virginia. This group is traveling to each one of them to gather support they hope will get Governor Terry McAuliffe's attention. We have almost a thousand letters to the governor and we plan to make a presentation to the governor. Family after family is lining up to ask for an executive order because they say what they've gotten here, money can't buy. In Hillsville, Bethany T, WSLS 10. Secretary of Health and Human Resources Bill Hazel says decisions to shut down mental health facilities are not taken lightly. In a statement, he says shutting down a facility requires our staff to work closely with family members as well as providers to ensure individuals will receive the services they need to be cared for in the community.